Two up comes from an older 19th century game and it's really just tossing two coins in the air. If two heads turn up, one person wins if they've backed that. Two tails turn up, the other person wins if they've backed that. Odds and evens, no one wins. Two up went from this back street activity to a sort of a national icon, basically because of the First World War and because so many soldiers saw that as their only recreation when they're heading off to the trenches in the Western Front. By 1916, returned servicemen were flooding the streets of Melbourne. They were looking for any kind of vice they could get. Two up was king, along with sly grog, illegal prostitution and bare knuckle boxing. You'd be hard pressed to not find a street in Melbourne, Fitzroy or Collingwood where you couldn't find a two up school and the returned servicemen were flooding them. Some of the larger scale outfits were run by gangsters, including Henry Stokes, who had a young squizzy tailor standing on the front gate of his 11 Goodwood Street property as security detail, wielding a gun. Two up was a very lucrative industry for the right kind of criminals, particularly the gangsters who were running it at the top. Two up fell out of popularity in the 1950s. In, first of all, because people had cars and television sets. Secondly, because the TAB introduced legal gambling right across Melbourne suburbs. In Victoria, the legislation was amended in 1991 to legalise the playing of two up, but only in limited circumstances and in order to commemorate Anzac Day given the game's history with our armed forces. These circumstances are, firstly, in the week leading up to Anzac Day, two up can be played at a function commemorating Anzac Day if organised by a sub-branch of the Returned and Services League the RSL and held there, and secondly, on Anzac Day itself, at RSLs or other places approved by the RSL. 